Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about method overriding in python programming so guys method overriding in python is a way of letting method of a subclass override the method of a superclass so let's say for instance inside the superclass we have a method that is eat and then inside the subclass we also have the same method with the same name that is eat so basically the method inside the subclass will be executed instead of the method that is present inside the superclass so let us check this with the help of example now over here so as you can see this is the class that is animal which is being treated as the parent class or the superclass and over here we have the attribute that is the name of the animal and it has a function that is the eat and it takes one parameter that is self over here it simply prints a statement that is i can eat now now guys again we have another class over here that is the dog which inherits this parent class that is animal and again what is happening over here is this eat is being inherited by this dog class but the dog class is also having its own eat method over here so as you can see this eat method is once again present inside the dog class and it is printing its own statement that is i like to eat bones so guys what we will do over here is i'll just simply copy these lines of code and paste it in the vs code and let us check the functionality of the method overriding and how it can be used in your project based on your requirement so i'll just remove certain comments over here so as you can see we have this parent class that is animal and then we have the child class that is dog over here both are having the eat method so what we will do is first of all i'll just comment out these lines that is this particular function is not present let's say inside the dog class i'll simply provide the pass statement over here so what exactly is happening first of all we have the animal class which is having the eat function and this dog class it is inheriting the animal class so the dog class will have access to this function that is eat over here so i can eat will be displayed so what we will do is first of all we will create the object of this dog class so let's say we have dog1 it is equal to and then the name of the class that is dog over here and simply what we can do is since the dog class is inheriting the animal class we can use the eat method of the animal so we can simply use the dog1 object followed by dot and then we have the eat method being called followed by open and close parenthesis so guys over here simply if we save this file and try running this code now as you can see i can eat is being displayed over here which is the print statement inside the eat function of the animal class now guys let us say we have the same method that is eat with a different print function inside the dog class so i'll just remove this pass statement and we'll also remove these comments over here so basically now what will happen whether the eat function of the animal class will be called or the eat function of the dog class will be called so let us check this so i'll just save this file now and try running this code once again as you can see i like to eat bones this particular statement is getting printed which is the statement from the eat function of the dog class so basically whenever we have the method with the same name inside the parent and the child class the method of the child class will be called over here and that is what we call it as method overriding now guys why method overriding is important so let's say you have the animal class over here this is a very generic statement that i can eat basically it doesn't specify what the animal can eat but let's say you want to have the child classes over here which inherits the parent class and you want to be more specific so what the dog likes to eat basically the dog likes to eat bones over here so you can have the same method name inside the child class and print a different message in this case and that is what we have done in this example so method overriding is very important as far as object oriented programming in python is concerned and you can use them in your own project based on your requirements so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is super method in python inheritance so stay tuned